Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Fae Tactics. In this one, well, we're pushing the story forward finally, and we need to spend some time in the Great Fairy Forest. First I wanted to check if there aren't any challenges left, uh, unlocked after we did the last one, but yeah, there aren't any. So let's just go camping and let's see what type of uh, challenges and story events await us next. I actually wonder what we'll get from this. Um, it doesn't seem to be the place that we need to go, because if you remember from quite some videos ago, we needed to cross the um, the Ashen Plains to that Ashen Scar or something or the other. I don't remember the name of the place. So yeah, I'm wondering what's happening here. Also nice, some additional fluff. Oh yeah, yeah, we, there was some notes that said that male experiments failed almost always. But didn't one actually succeed with Alex? That one boss Seraphim? Oh. Okay. Um... So, if I recall correctly, on one of the videos there was a comment left by Ricardo saying that one of the loading screen tips said something about male witches and warlocks as we can see, but I didn't remember any of that, so maybe he mistook it for this? Or maybe I didn't saw that tip? Oh well, that, that doesn't bit good for us. Well, from what I can remember, the Ash Elves aren't in very good terms with us. They kinda wanted to kill us. And if, if he is that powerful, so it doesn't make it better. Um, okay, so... Yeah, actually, that's a good question. Um, oh... Okay, yeah, that's, oh yeah, it's twice, yeah, yeah, that's, that's perfectly normal, of course, of course it is, um, she's talking about it like it's a perfectly normal thing, like, you know, well, I went for bread to the shop and I died two times on the way, so yeah, it kind of happens. But you died two times, woman, how are you here? Well, I guess they called you the Immortal, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, what Peony said. Y you can't just go with more or less when you said you died two times. This kinda needs some more explaining, you know? Yeah, see? That's what you get when you don't explain things. Or... Well, su I suppose you can say it like that. But, you know, that's actually one of my gripes with this game. The amount of explaining would need to actually get some work done. Because you can't just go with, I died a couple of times and don't say anything about it. Kinda sounds absurd. But what do I know? Oh, and you just happened to mention it now. You didn't mention it when I came here. Okay. Well, I think we know who it is. Yep. I thought as much. And I bet she's in trouble. Dance too. She basically always gets uh, end up in trouble. Kind of strange that being a witch and having so much magical powers and she just 
didn't get around to learn how to defend herself, you know? That's kind of... Uh, and they say that Peony is trusting. At least she can defend herself. So, well, I guess we have to go help Damla again. I'll just scroll through these tips to see if I don't miss anything. Doesn't seem to be anything new. Okay. So yeah, we see those corrupted monsters again. Definitely nothing good, but that's a lot of attack on this guy. And I'm guessing that's the second type of bone servants, judging that he isn't arcane element, but earth element. It was those guys that we saw in the undead horse fight that actually had a range attack. Hmm, I think I will actually... No, I think I will leave Claudia here because I can't, um, I can't actually remove her from the party she's needed here. Let's just get the gems going, and I think this will be our party. The spell is not needed here, and go with the rally. And as for units, I think we'll use the Barn Reaper here to get some haste going. And yeah, well I think this, this will be a sufficient setup. I kinda misclicked here, I wanted to see something. Hmm. Yeah, well, I suppose the typing on the barn reaper isn't that great here. But I don't have much of choice, because those other units here won't be as useful as him. Well, I could lose the Grumble Bunny here, because it's an escape mission, and he has a pitiful movement range. And I think I will go with the Unilana, because the, the reaper isn't ac exactly a nice typing here. And he could go down very easily. So yeah, let's just go with Unilana. Okay, a lot of flying units here. I guess we'll just wait for them to move. Alright, so we'll set up so we can actually attack someone. Also, as you saw, those uh, things on the wall happen to be actually actual traps, so we need to watch out where we stand with our units, or else they will push us out of, out of the ledge and we'll die. Unless there is a flying unit there, so... Okay, one down. Now we'll protect uh, everyone. Including red, preferably. Okay, so let's get going. We can afford to stay in one place in this type of missions, because reinforcements will come in frequently. And, well, killing won't actually get us towards the objective, we need to move. So yeah, let's just prioritize moving forward. This shouldn't be done, though. Now we don't have anything to heal up, actually. Dwarven Bones. And those are quite nasty if they get to attack. Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of this one, he's not protected. Suicide bomber, so that actually makes things easier. Unlucky. But he will actually hit uh, these guys. So 
okay. Now we we'll just move. Well, he is protected, but I don't have anything better to do. So might as well cook. But yeah, I think I should refrain from doing that because he is another type of bone servant, but he still does get that attack buff. No use in buffing him up. And not much of a choice here because we had the chain on. The revenants. Mm, oh, the revenants could hit quite hard. those guys. So we attack the crow. I actually thought they won't have enough movement and will be pushed to the abyss. So yeah. Unfortunately for us, they weren't. Maybe this guy? Mm, nah. Good, but this head can hit him in the back. And that would be enough of that bone servant. Dwarven bones. It's not a bone servant. So bad. Okay. So let's start working on those guys here and don't forget to move forward. You just cleanse that haunt. And get a protector up, and while being closer for a combo, we just hit him. Combo and up. Nice. All right, Revenant's going to attack. Okay, great. He didn't haunt anything. So that's nice. As for the mana barrel, uh, well, I guess no use making it here, we won't get anything from it. I wanted to detonate it in such a way that someone would blow up with it. Like now. Should have waited. Yeah, definitely should have waited. Dang. Okay, maybe he'll be pushed out. Nice. And yeah, unfortunately he didn't get pushed. Shame, really. I spawned the ultra. I would want to use it in such a way that I will actually kill someone. But this can provide to be quite hard now, because those revenants don't take much damage from red. Let's just try to do some damage to them and see if it actually makes uh, makes a difference. Not by much, at least now. So we have to make some more attacks. This should be okay if she doesn't regen. Yeah, she does. Hmm. Well, maybe it would be sufficient. Yeah, it won't. So let's see if the Unilana can help. Um, my move will be enough. Or maybe if the Grumble Bunny attacks also. But I would rather heal, to be honest. So let's see if it's enough, it's enough. If not, well, I guess we won't actually drain anything with this ultra. And like I said, it's nothing that bad because it's not our objective to kill everything here. Okay, it's not enough. So, yeah, 
I guess I will still use the ultra on something. I'm wondering where to set up actually. Um, I guess I will go for a back attack. Oh, maybe. Let me let me wait this turn. I will cloak, and th this does gives me an additional bonus towards damage. So maybe this will be sufficient actually. And yeah, this star is actually clutch time. So let's see now if I have enough damage. And indeed we have. So yeah. But uh, Pro then would be a better choice if we count the attack stat, but this Revenant was quite infuriating, so I wanted to get rid of her first. Okay, I need to watch out for the traps here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll go like this. Claudia is not in danger of dying. So yeah, no use to think about the positioning that much. Those traps kinda hinder our movement and attack setups. Well, which means they actually did their job right. But still. Okay, yeah, it's not good. Uh, it's not, not so good targeting. Hmm. I guess I'll wait. No use in wasting the ultra like this. At least now we can use the heal. the Grumble Bunny actually making it to the escape zone, you know? Uh, something tells me he will die. Because he has pitiful movement and the enemies are starting to spawn. So, yeah. Now we're in a nice spot, but there is some quite a... There, are, there is quite a way away from the escape zone, so... Yeah. Claudia should be able to dash there quite quickly. Same goes for Red. But yeah, the Unilan and the Grumble Bunny. That's a different story. The Bonsover can at least tank it. And well, he doesn't have that bad of a movement range, actually. A good attack like this. Okay, so that makes only one unit on the field there. Mm, there is a skull here. Quite interesting. I um, wonder if I will actually get to pick it up. Hmm. moving to the exit, so this will prove to be useful. Hmm, no, no, I can do it like this because then I will actually get um, the line of the trap and I will get pushed into the abyss and red will die, so yeah, that was not a valid movement. Because he would uh, use the passing blade and he would end up behind the red trap. And head first into the trap. No, oh, now's a little bell. It comes to the ultra targeting. Okay. Those revenants are quite nasty. That was a lot of damage.
Okay, so let's just dash. Hmm, let me just Claudia first. Okay, so let's move on her spot. Just heal for some additional XP for Peony. And let's just... Okay, we can assist. I will think about it, so it's some more XP. No need to attack them, it's not our objective. So the Yilana's probably going down also. Dang, that's some nice damage. Okay, so we can't even move with him. I just move forward so the Grumble Money can hop there. So now we're, uh, those two are actually screwed because yeah, free revenants will do massive damage to them. So let's make haste and leave those revenants here. Alright, could have healed bones, cleansed the bones of them, but kind of did that automatically. the last. Yeah, it won't be the last turn. Claudia is not in range. Chain. So the Grumble Pony, well... Him dying would actually be good because we don't have to make over to the escape zone with him. will actually come in handy. Yeah, just like this. So we should be able to finish this on the next turn. We just need Claudia to So we'll wait with red. Or just teleport and we're done. Okay, this was an okay battle. I'm not a big fan of those escape missions, to be honest. More times than not, they're actually not very fun. And maneuvering through these tight corridors isn't especially hard if you have units that move like Red or Claudia. And now that we have the gem that gives us blink, so we can give that to Peony and have her blink through enemies also, so... Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you look like you could use a hand. So, yeah, definitely. How did you end up like this, actually? Also, there is a chest on the left. Near that dwarven bones. No, you won't. Okay, so let's do some quick scouting. Yeah, see, there's a chest here on the left. Um, a few units here. This is just a normal succubus, and that's a mana totem, so no dealing damage on the first turns, I guess. Because the totem will soak, soak that up. All in all, a pretty standard fight, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing too threatening. This should be actually on the easy side. 
if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, um, we'll just do a setup here. I will take the pawn deeper now, because yeah, if we need to help Damla, we actually need to move quite quickly. So haste will be something useful to have. As far as spells go, um, we don't need the phantom hand. The chest is clo quite close, but the doom bolt will come in handy because it's effective on the succubus, on arcane type units. So there's always that. And okay, I guess I guess this is all. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.